Hey, welcome back. We're on to another chapter of Red Book of Westmarch. Let's get right into there where we've got this book that's been waiting for us all day. And uh, I'm so excited for this because, you know, we're coming down to the last two chapters. We're on chapter 17, the Siege of Minas Tirith. Getting two more and we're getting a nice little pipe. Two more for the dwarves and then some gems, of course. And uh, 180,000 resources on our very first uh, section here. So first thing you're always going to do is go check out your entire army that you have. Uh, we're going to use the Witch King because, you know, every single unit that's basically here, if you go through and click on them, they're they're all melee. Every single one. This is 3,000. Kind of blocking it just a little bit. But uh, every single one of these has 3,000 units. So we're just going to grab our Nazgul because the reason why is they take 60% less damage from melee units. So we're going to charge them all up in there and he's just going to wipe them out and say la vie. Boom. Gone. Just like that. And uh, while he keeps marching forward, we're just going to keep on trucking. You know, we got 246 of these guys left. Can't see it because it's right behind me. And I, I got my buddy right here. <laughs> he's a good guy. Uh, I don't care what they say about him. Uh, you're just going to keep on trucking all the way through with these guys. Um, while we're waiting for him to be able to travel, we're going to send the shadows army over to that next tile. So that way, you know, he's, he's prepped and ready, if you will, because, uh, he's going to need some of that. And then we're just going to dive with the witch King all the way up in there. Just going to commit all the way. He's not going to make it. There's going to come a point where he comes to fail and we're going to switch over to the undying. And then we're going to send the undying right up in there and shadow. He's, he's, he's waiting in the shadows. To come and strike and pounce uh because you know right now minas Tirith, it's it's all that's left look at this look at this beautiful city ah but uh now we're gonna have the undying come in he's gonna come and take out uh the rest of denethor's army and um if he doesn't you know what no biggie shadows right there lurking in the shadows uh, to finish up but he's going to finish through no matter what and then you're just gonna send him right on into gandalf the white Speaking of which, Gandalf the White is pretty vicious because he's got two really great stuns. One of them stuns two people for like three turns or something like that. So after you send in the Undying for the uh, the very first, he's going to die even though he's the Undying. And then you're going to send in the Shadow to come and finish up Gandalf. And then that'll be the end of the first chat or section of the chapter. And uh, we'll take that little win. Stage is cleared. And then on to stage two. Now it's 220,000 resources and the writers of the Ritter Mark is here. I, I don't know how to ever say it right. Don't judge me. Uh, so we're just going to take Yomer's army. We we know that uh, Yodin's army is the best because he's got those T4 marshals right there. No other T4 units available. So we're just going to use up everything we have until uh, we're forced to use the T4s. So we're going to take Yomer. He's going to just ride up in there and uh, he's going to take him out. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just gonna keep on keep the gravy train rolling just keep him going uh after he takes on that second fight you're probably gonna want to you know what commit with him he's gonna be able to take these guys out as well because if you look they have negative damage received and then they have increased damage to mounted units so unfortunate for our little guys there because they're about to get you know a little bit of pounded on but it's all good they'll be able to keep going uh so now we're gonna switch over to eowyn for this fourth fight we're gonna take Eowyn out and uh, she's gonna come and take out this guy right here who's who's just hanging out you know he's got a nice beautiful mountain troll a hundred of them no, no biggie you know you've got some crushers they basically lower your defense and then they prioritize attacks against melee units with the lowest attack and they de increase their damage by 10 percent so we're going to send him in because we've got some nice little archers there. Just because it makes, you know, some nice, perfect sense. And then we're going to keep sending uh, Eowyn down the way. However, we're not going to start this engagement with Eowyn. We're going to switch back over to Eomer. And we're going to send him in to go fight the War Chariot. Oh, that thing is vicious. And the Halberd Ears. Oh, this, this, this is definitely a, a struggle of an army to be able to take on. Um, you're going to... Okay, in, in all five of my previous tests, Eomer lost that fight. 
However, he ended up winning this time. You know what? So, hey, great. You know, like, let's just keep the gravy train rolling at this point then, you know? Because holy mackerel did not expect him to, um, to come and finish off that fight. Like I said, the last five that I did, literally, he, he, he lost every single time. But you know what? It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take that win. Uh, Eowyn's going to dive onto the, the Mummock. She's going to lower the amount that we have, the Mummock kills that we have out there. She's going to lower it down to 12. It started with what? 40, I think it was. And um, she's going to lower it down for us. And then we're going to grab our main man, Theoden, with the tier four. Beautiful marshals. Look at these guys. Oh, so much. Plenty of plentiful damage. HP. Speed is obnoxiously fast. And then he's got increased damage dealt based on the speed stat. So 56% to start off and 10% reduced damage. Sounds like a phenomenal unit because it is an absolute phenomenal unit. And then, of course, you're just going to take Theoden in and uh, have him finish off the Witch King. You know, ideally, you know, it would probably be fun to have uh, Eowyn come and finish him off because you, know, you can be like, no man can kill me. And then she'll be like, I am no man. <sighs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Sector clear, another section clear. Now we're going to get 248,000 resources for this last section here um this one we have some more mama kills to, to handle with not only one but we've got two of them so that is something to take into consideration you go through you have tier four on every single army you've got aragorn with the swan knights you've got legolas with march wardens and then you've got gimli with the iron warriors but to start off what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take the king of the dead and we're gonna rush him in to go fight some mama kills and um you know i i think they're super efficient against them you know that that could just be me maybe there is a better opportunity out there but for now this one is a great opportunity so let's just take that and we're gonna swap over to gimli we're gonna take gimli right here he's got his ram riders he's got a uh, some less damage lower some defense on his units and uh we're just gonna use him to truck along so as you can see he's got 1750 of each unit so you know nice little uh army he's got there and he's gonna go take on four thousand of these dragoons so send them all right up in and uh he'll be able to take them out and then we're gonna switch back over to our king of the dead army because again we wanted to go take out those mama kills because i don't know about you but i'm not so much a big fan of mama kills you know Maybe because I'm on the good side and they don't fight for me. They fight against me. So it's like, ooh, do I really want that for my life? I don't think so. Um, but either way, we're just going to send him up in there and uh, go and take him out. But unfortunately, he's not going to be able to take him out. He is going to lose. So that's where we're going to switch back over to Gimli. And Gimli is going to finish off the last of the Mama Kills. And these dudes are ferocious to say the least. They always attack all enemies and allies. And they also receive 15% less physical damage. Uh, Gimli's going to win that fight with ease because there's only a handful that are left. And then we're going to swap over to Legolas. We're going to grab those March Wardens and those, uh, what are they, Heralds, I think. And we're going to go march up into this next army because he's got... Uh, 1750 as well and then 3500 of the heralds basically his meat shield let's be honest and the but we are going up against 8000 reapers 8000 as you can see right there it's a lot but you know what they, don't, they have no chance and then we're gonna take king of the dead bring them on over we got a free recover units I think they could have made this a little bit harder, added another army for us to uh, to be able to engage with. But you know what? It's all good. I'm not going to complain about some easy resources and, and some easy items. And, you know, I'll take it. My only hope is that this is still going to be available for us in season two. That we can replay this entire book over and start to get these rewards once again, because that that would be really nice. And, um, you know, be able to get all of those items once again, especially for the respect. Raise that respect. 
Oh yeah, super important. Just gonna dive with the uh, the King of the Dead there, and then you're gonna win just like that. Didn't even have to use King Aragorn and the uh, Swan Knights. However, that is the end of the chapter. So thank you so much, and we've got one left, and I'll see you there.